class. So earlier this week we were talking about writing complete sentences. So now we're going to go over nouns, adjectives, verbs, and adverbs to help expand on your sentences. First off, who can tell me what a noun is? Does anybody know? First in place or thing? What about an adjective? It's a word that describes the noun. Verbs. It's what you it's do. It's an action. <laughs> right. And an adverb. Describes the verb. All right. Perfect. All right. Before we get into this, I'm going to pass out this paper. Do not touch it until I tell you to. Pass it this Truck. Fire truck. Right. Um, lights. China. <laughs> Joey. Baseball. Juice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. uh, water. Person. Person. Right. Um, these are just some examples. Most of which I don't think anybody said. <laughs> <laughs> Person could be as basic as mom, teacher, but could be also as descriptive as, like Amber said, a specific name. Place can be any kind of location, like you are in a classroom, uh, could be at home, be at work, thing. Uh, someone said pencil, could also be a ball, shirt. And then idea or feeling, happy, hurt, sad. And then an example, mom told me to come home. What are the nouns, even though they're obviously involved? Mom and home. Mom and home. What is mom? A person. And what is home? It's a place. place Perfect. All right, next. Adjectives. Like we said before, adjectives describe words. They describe something that's happening. So, like I get, again, I want everyone to give me one example of an adjective real quick. This time we'll start with Lauren. Funny. Okay. Um, shot. Um, blonde. Pink. Yellow. Short. Describing words. What is large describing? Dog. Next, verbs. You said before that they're action words. Everyone again, give me an action. This time we'll start with Mr. Rich again. Look. Okay. See. Run. Jump. Blink. Sprint. Sing. Pop. Shopping. Sleep. Um, jump. Dance. And then, much like the example up here, I like to play basketball, so the verb would be play. And then, adverbs. Uh, Adam said that they describe the verb that are in the sentence. 
So, <coughs> does anybody have any other ideas of what an adverb would be? Doesn't it usually end in ly? It sometimes start, ends in ly. It doesn't always have to, though. Okay. So, uh, I'm only going to ask for a couple. So, Joey. Um, Delightfully. Slowly. Slowly. What was it? Slowly. Slowly. Thoughtfully. Perfect. Alright, now, I want you to look at the paper I handed out. And I want you guys to only worry about the nouns, which is the first part on that page. I want you to underline the nouns that are in the sentence. I want pencils down when everyone's done. why those two words are underlined in the first sentence. What specifically is what? What's girl? What's, what's not? Good. What about the second sentence? Who can explain to me what team, ball, and field represent as far as the noun? Team is a thing? Or would that be like a person? It could be either or, it depends on how it's used in the sentence. Right here, I would probably use it as a person or a group of people. Ball, obviously, thing, field. Place. I guess, would, yeah, a place. Could be. And then the last one. Sarah's a person. Mm -hmm. And dancer, I guess, would be a person or thing. It depends on what your output would be on the sentence. All right, next. Adjectives, next part down. Underline the adjectives that we went over before. You can tell me what an adjective is. Describes the name. Oh, sorry, sorry. I an adjective. Sorry. An adjective does what? Describes the name. First sentence, the squirrels hid their nuts in the trees. What are the squirrels doing? Hiding. Hiding. Hiding nuts. <coughs> Number two, I use soap to wash my hands. What, are, what is the person doing? Wash. Used and wash. And then number three, the boat floats on the water. Is 
basically underlined in this sentence. And the second one, loudly. How is that describe? What is that describing? Shouting. And then the third one, why is late? Underlined. How late? All right, now. We're probably not going to be able to do all this right now, so this will be homework. What I want you guys to do is take one flip book, and I want you guys to have each tab, I want, it to, I want you guys to write down each, I guess, part of the speech this is considering. So one tab will be nouns, one tab will be adjectives, one tab will be verbs, one tab will be adverbs. And then I want you guys to write into it. This definition, I want your own examples, I don't want you guys reusing the examples that you guys saw earlier, and then I want you guys to write a sentence showing that you guys know how each of these are being used. So I want you guys to at least get the tabs down right now, and then you can finish the rest of this for homework. Do you see her at 11.45?